Welcome to uh, Save Your Money, Save Your Teeth, uh, the go-to podcast here on E-Radio, where uh, curiosity meets uh, dentistry straight from the experts. I'm Ian, and uh, I'm joined, as always, every week by uh, Dr. Clifford Yudelman. We take a nice deep dive into the world of dental care from a consumer's perspective. And uh, if you're looking maybe to brighten your smile or protect your wallet, we have got you covered with uh, practical advice and the latest insights. So stick around as we uncover the secrets to maintaining both your dental health and also your finances. A warm welcome to you once again, Dr. Yudelman. Hi, thanks. Thanks for having me back and looking forward to chatting with you today. So today uh, we talk about the art and science of uh, dental bonding, a cost-effective solution. Dr. Yunuman, what exactly is dental bonding and how does it work? So dental bonding is um, it's basically one of these cosmetic procedures that can improve the appearance of your teeth. We use composite resin, which is uh, something that's soft it's a like a paste or a putty or in some cases it's injectable like a liquid and it matches your natural tooth color and we basically put it on your teeth and we shape it and we harden it with a special light and we use it to re- repair to fix chipped or cracked or discolored teeth in many cases it's a case where uh, it's where someone's had a cavity or a filling and we're removing an old filling and we're replacing it with a with a white or a composite filling and it's sort of interchangeable bonding and composite bonding and composite fillings are are similar. In this case, it's more where you're doing one or two surfaces on a tooth. You're not doing it to six or eight or ten teeth because that's where we start talking about veneers or, or composite injection molding. And then the main advantages of dental bonding compared to other cosmetic procedures? Well, it's it's quicker and it's it's obviously less expensive because you're only doing one or two teeth or just taking care of the the problem, the chip or the little gap that needs to be closed up. Um, it's typically completed in one visit. There's little to no tooth removal required, and we can address various cosmetic issues. And it's uh, at Optic Smile, you know, we find that it's accessible and and it's an efficient dental solution. Whenever we can do bonding or what we sometimes now these days because we've got this injection molded bonding you know we call this other bonding freehand bonding where we just use our our skills now doctor please walk us through uh, the dental bonding procedure at uh, opti smile yeah so after we check the tooth um, in some cases we'll be taking out old filling or the tooth is sensitive we might numb it first we use a special machine called a wand that gives the anesthetic very carefully and slowly. Patients generally don't feel anything when we numb in the front. That can be a very sensitive area. We check the color of the tooth with a shade guide and then also sometimes put a little bit of the bonding on the tooth and cure it just to check that it will match. And then we etch the tooth. We use a blue gel, which we then rinse off. And we put the the bond on the tooth. Once uh, we, we've rinsed it, we dry it, we put the bond on the tooth, we thin it out with air, and we, we shine a light on it. And then we start applying the, the bonding and we shape it with different instruments or with a brush. And when we get it to the right shape, we harden it. And sometimes we build it up in multiple layers. And then afterwards, we use discs and, and other types of polishes to, to polish the bonded tooth for a natural look. So how do I know whether I'm an ideal candidate for dental bonding, doctor? If you've got small chips or cracks, um, if the bottom teeth are worn down slightly and the tops of the teeth are looking a bit uh, dated, uh, chipping or discolored, that's a good place to, to have freehand dental bonding. If you've got a small space between teeth, that's good for doing with freehand dental bonding. As soon as it's anything more extensive, we much prefer to use molds because then it's all designed on a computer. And we'll talk about injection molding in another another episode. Um, it's good for slightly altering the shape or the length of the teeth. And it's ideal for, you know, if you want immediate results. And our philosophy at OptiSmile is always to do a personalized assessment to determine your suitability. We won't 
this you can't just come in and say I want bonding and then we do it. You know, make sure that it is something that's that's suitable for you and your situation. What kind of results can patients expect from uh, dental bonding? So aesthetic improvement, you get the enhanced appearance of the teeth. It's a natural look. The resin is matched to the natural tooth color. You get an immediate improvement right after we're done. It looks much better. And it can last several years with proper care. It doesn't last as long as veneers or injection molding. But it lasts several years with proper care. It doesn't last as long as uh, injection molded composite bonding. And we always try and get a beautiful and a natural looking result at the end. Any downsides or limitations to dental bonding? Yeah, so the composite resin can stain over time and there's joints on the teeth. Unlike a veneer that covers the whole tooth or in many cases with injection molding, it covers over most of the tooth and it thins out. There's, there's no real joints with them. It may need touch-ups or replacements every few years. And it's not as strong as your own natural tooth or, or a porcelain veneer. And um, yeah, the dentist should always be transparent about the pros and cons so you can make informed decisions. We do sometimes see patients. I had a patient who moved down from Joburg and he had had a whole lot of teeth bonded, freehand bonding. And some of the teeth were fine and others, there, there was what's called an overhang that was covering up over his gum and it was collecting a lot of plaque and his gums were bleeding. And it takes quite a lot of work to, to get those teeth back to, to how they should be. In most of those cases, we've got to go and remove all of that and, and then whiten the teeth and sort of start at the beginning. And the patient will have to go through a period of a, a week to two weeks while we get all of that off and then scan and do, do them properly. So I don't recommend these days getting a whole bunch of teeth done freehand because there are much better techniques now. Uh, Doctor, how long does uh, dental bonding typically last? And also what factors affect its longevity? So you've got to avoid biting very hard objects like very, you know, that lockdown sourdough bread that everyone was making during lockdown and very crunchy baguettes or very crispy you know, people sometimes put a chocolate bar in the fridge and then they take it out and they bite into it. You've got to be careful when you're eating a peach, for instance, that you don't bite into a pip by mistake. They can last about three to five years before they need a touch-up or replacement. And you need your regular dental visits, your good oral hygiene, and avoiding things that will generally stain the teeth, like smoking and and coffee. And um, we always like to we always like to educate patients on the care of them so that they get lasting results. Doctor, can you share any success stories or patient testimonials with us related to uh, dental bonding at OptiSmile? Yeah, so it's fantastic to get patients come in and they got a lot of concern about something that's relatively minor and to be able to, to do something like composite bonding and improve someone's smile so quickly and easily and in many cases inexpensively is very satisfying and and many of these patients will go to google and give us a five-star review and some have written very long long reviews and every so often a patient will even post their own before and after picture like i've said before i don't like to post before and after pictures um i don't want to ask patients to show what their teeth looked like when they were ugly but they've many of them have agreed to let me show their pictures to patients directly on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So we always show patients what to, to expect. Uh, we've got lots of success stories and testimonials to share with, with patients when they come in or when we do a video consult consultation. And then finally, uh, doctor, what would you say makes uh, OptiSmile's approach to uh, dental bonding unique? We almost always will try and do injection molded composite bonding when it's called for. We, as I mentioned, we don't like to do freehand bonding. So we're going to discuss injection molded bonding in another, in another podcast very soon. And where we use digital scans, design molds, um, we've, we've got our yeah, skilled dentists that have got extensive experience in these treatments. We personalize your treatment plan to your own situation. And the, the 
composite materials these days are amazing. We, we got a new material about three and a half years ago, and we still use it today. And we're seeing patients coming back three, four years later with amazing results where there's no staining on the newer materials and very few cases of tipping um, unless people do, like what I mentioned before, maybe nail biting is not good. Or if you're a heavy bruxer, you know, you've got to make sure that you use a mouth guard uh, or a night guard. You know, being committed to excellence and patient satisfaction, we always get very nice results and happy patients. So I'm very thankful for that. And uh, that's it uh, for another episode of uh, Save Your Money, Save Your Teeth. Uh, Dr. Yudelman, thank you once again for your time and uh, sharing all that uh, insightful information with us. No, it's a pleasure. And and next uh, next week we're going to talk about injection-molded composite veneers or injection-molded composite bonding um, because I have mentioned it quite a bit today and, and last week. So we're going to do a special episode on that and then we'll do probably one more episode about uh, how to make your bonding and veneers last longer just to wrap up the, the series yeah excellent also big thanks to our listeners for tuning in and remember while we strive to provide uh, valuable insights uh, always consult with your own dental professional for advice tailored to your personal health and also don't forget to uh, subscribe for more enlightening discussions And then join us again next week, same time, same place, as we continue to explore the fascinating intersection of dental health and financial savvy. But until then, keep smiling and uh, taking great care of your teeth. Discover the world of dental excellence with OptiSmile. Join us for a weekly podcast featuring Dr. Clifford Udelman, a seasoned expert with 40 years of dental experience across four continents. Gain unique insights and expert dental advice by visiting optismile.co.za for articles that illuminate the path to optimal oral health. If you're seeking unparalleled dental care in Cape Town, get in touch with OptiSmile or book directly online on optismile.co.za. OptiSmile, where global expertise meets local care.